Welcome back to Shadowgate. So we're in a pretty good position right now. We have in our possession four of the five artifacts. We're missing the Staff of Ages. And more importantly, we've cured the Banshee Curse. So what's next? Well, we're going to give one more tug to all our loose ends around the castle. There are also some small things with our inventory that we wanted to try. Lastly, we'll explore the catacombs if, like, all of that passes without much excitement. So we just collected some rubble. Large stone. Pedestrian nearly every way. So it says it's ordinary, but maybe this will finally sharpen our sword. No effect on the rubble, huh? What did it... When we use it against the rock, attempt to sharpen the no experience. Hmm. Okay, that was one thing. Another thing was, where is our bottle? This bottle, we tried opening it, but no way to open the vial. What happens when you open a regular bottle? Is that just a generic message? Huh. So maybe it's, it says you can't open it because it's already open. <laughs> let's see, let's try uh, smashing it with our hammer here. No, okay. Didn't accept. I noticed that uh, our hammer, we have not enchanted it yet on this uh, run back, so that was the blacksmith spell. Okay, good. Now, uh, we left off with, or the last episode we had uh, a gin riddle. In comparison to a ghost MI, and then he gave us an additional hint that uh, often filled but frequently uh, empty. I dismissed the idea of an empty bottle as being the filled or empty thing because it seemed too direct, but that was like the additional clue. The original uh, part of the riddle, in comparison to a ghost of mine, that could fit an empty bottle because a ghost is uh, transparent. So let's try giving him the empty bottle. You have chosen poorly, ah. Uh. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, one more thing to try here. Reload, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, as long as we're in this tower. We could try sharpening the sword against the obelisk. I'm not sure if that's any better. We never did get through this, uh door. What was in here again? Oh, that was the lieutenant's room. Uh, our keys don't work, we know that. How about knocking on it? Hello? Can I sell you, sell you some vacuum cleaners? No? What about... Okay, let's get our hammer powered up again. I think this is just going to stay powered up, right? Let's try smashing down the door! Boom! No. This goddess. No clues. Okay. Let's. I had an idea about uh, forging our sword as well. Let's pick up some more water, actually. We have one. Uh, let's. We think there's a much. We can always empty these if we need them. And our torches are doing pretty good, yeah, so. Okay. This thing. Impressive window. Reaching for some type of conflagration. Some type of fire. Okay, so. Uh, let's go to the observation tower real quick. These stones, they're not pickable, are they? Broken stone. Can we take it? No, these are probably all going to be too heavy. So this that storage room, that's the pumpkin room. Now, what about this observatory here? Let's look through the telescope again. Uh, no, <laughs> it's looking at the telescope. Go to it, use it, use it. Okay. Obviously, we need to do something about these clouds. 
We tried using the spells outside. Let's try using them here, though. This is our multi-purpose flashbang. Let there be light! No? What about... I mean, I don't see why Earthquake would do it. We haven't used this for anything yet. What about Sparks? Summon the dragon. Vaguely familiar. Is it like... That's supposed to be like Talamar, maybe? <sighs> All these other spells I know are sort of like single... Or I think they're like single purpose. Like one specific thing. No. So of the, the special artifacts, the horn is the only one that like... I think you can use just freely. What happens if we blow the horn? No? Okay. Not sure what else to try here for this. I have no idea what this is going to be used for. <laughs> um, okay, so that's this place. Not a clue here, is there? No. Alright. That dragon at top of the tower. I was noticing that our uh our pumpkin uh scroll it mentions like if you want your flying dog back or something. No, I don't want to go here. Go to Lacrimus Tower for a second. Uh it's like if you want your flying ace back, could that flying ace be the dragon? But don't see where the connection would be. Now, on this uh, save file, when I did one of my uh, runbacks, I forgot to pick up the Golden Thorn, so let's just grab this real quick. I also want to get the flute here and try something with the flute. Pull the Golden Thorn. So now we actually do possess, possess all four uh, artifacts. And the flute was this room here. So we have this broken flute. I've been thinking we could repair it somehow. Cracked broken flute and it has three holes carved into it. Cracked and broken. We tried working it with our <laughs> hammer. Try the repair spell. There is no other thing to just like jam into it to fix it. Don't think so. Okay. So let's try getting the flute that's here. And there's nothing really interesting here. This was the notes cord and sand. Okay, let's leave that. I don't sp suppose that would be in comparison to the ghost. Some of those instruments like had... I think the bell had like an eerie... An eerie tone to it or something. But I don't think the genie wants the bell. Uh, okay, let's do some stuff here. Um... Let's test our swords again. Uh, so we have... Oh, so this fire, I think, went... Yeah, I, I stoked the fire before going to the Platinum Horn Room, so... It does just fade out over time. Or fade out pretty quickly, it looks like. Did we ever try using this... I don't think we did this on the Dirk. Did I miss... Do you actually have to click the... Probably not. Okay. What if we do this first? Okay, now... The magical blacksmith. No. So, <laughs> before we try dipping the sword in the, the water, what if we pour the water... Ooh, what did that do? But it's still rusted and pitted. Well, blacksmiths do this like multiple times, right? Bang, bang, bang. Hmm. I feel like there's some other step we should be doing here. Maybe take uh, our torch, that silver orb, the torch. No. Not 
something else, huh? Take the mallet. Put the shooting star on the sword! No. <laughs> okay, let's just try this once more. Three times a charm? No. Huh, okay. Okay, let's also test whether, like, our other weapons can be heated up. Spear, no. We tried this. I imagine you could light the torches with this. What about... Is it a poker? Now, is this going to light up the same way when we did the torch? It's just the tip is hot. We could do that before. Okay. Let us back. Get our water back at least. Um, we found a mask here. Let's just for complete... <laughs> Hello! For complete, let's just open all the armors. No. Okay, let's... Now some of these loose ends, we're just going to tug on them some perfunctory attempts, so uh, let's let's go here. I'm, I don't think this is actually needed on Journeyman, but can we can we poke it with a stick? Okay. On the NES version. Uh, I'm not sure this room is exactly analogous, but there was like a laboratory. It had cages very distinctively, and it had a live dog creature in one of them. So that's a nice, another little uh, like forward ca callback to the NES version, like the Epor. This one, though, it appears dead, so if you played the NES version, you're like, uh oh, is it, is it going to come alive? Like, at an inopportune moment. Okay, let's try at least doing some basic things here. Can we smack it? Can we use our magic Thor's hammer? Speak to it. Alexa, turn on? No. Go to it? No. Okay, so what about... Oh, I'm running out of loose ends here. So this was the goblin room. Now those pair of goblins, we could flashbang them. Can we do that here? Almost as one. What? Oh, are they looking away? Is that easy to dodge it? Uh, wishboned. Let's try. Uh, let's try punching them since that <laughs> did work before. We're graduating from uh, two goblins to three, I guess. Okay, open up. Let's go. Okay. You want to help me psych myself up? We probably should have put on some better equipment first. When <laughs> At least we have the gauntlet. Okay, who should we... I think you can actually, like, kill one of them if you use a weapon. Like, we use a spear, we kill this guy. Let's kill this guy again. Punch him. No. Hmm. Okay, just... Let's just try one more spell and then we'll move on. Okay, I think there's only... We haven't used this. And I'm like quite certain that these are single purpose. So well this one and this one. I kind of blacksmith in it. This could be like... Tell them all your leader or commands you. I don't know. Let's uh, earthquake the chandelier on their heads. What? What? As you move closer into the room. Was that because I targeted the chandelier? What happens if I just like target the ground? Cast it. Wait, is there a description on the ground? Let's do this. Maybe it was it. Okay, I wanted to look first, but fine. We fire off the magic. Doesn't really amount to much. I bet it's gonna get us killed though. Can I can I leave? No. 
Okay, enough with the goblins. Let them have their dinner. Okay, let's try using the flute. Uh, one idea, though, I had that we didn't try here is... Can we... Is it... Uh, powered by heat? No. Hmm. Does the desk have a different description? You can't, like, check this for drawers, can you? For this... Can't open the seats. Imagine wizards sitting on them watching various experiments. Okay. So let's uh, make use of this flute, or at least try to. Uh, where is the clue that I have? Uh, no. Yes, about the weather master. My friend, I will remain secure in my domain here in the Gatekeeper Mountains, guarding the Northern Passage. So this is a lonely keep, because the signal fire, pyre, and the formidable pet, the Whirlwind Elemental. Only I can control it, Unthalum, whose body we found. And this broken flute was found with Unth Unthalum. So the flute will be a signifier for the... Uh, the air elemental that we're a friend. Actually, is this... Because we're stopping by the furnace anyway. Um, how hot are these fires? Okay. I don't want to lose my sword again. Can we use these to forge our weapons? Really? <laughs> Ah, so these are the substitute fire if you run out of logs. Can you just throw items in here? Get rid of them? Ah, so saying earlier, like way at the beginning of the LP, in the NES version you could throw stuff into the lake. If it let you throw it away, it meant it was useless. Huh. So what's an item that we know is not useless? Why is it not letting me? But which uh, it might conceivably let us throw away. Uh, I mean, it's not going to let us throw that away. Wait, what? It doesn't even singe the door. door horn, huh? We're like our key that we haven't used. We're let us get rid of that. Yeah, I'm not so sure it's going to... I think it's just, like, <laughs> jerking us around. Like, I, th I, I, don't, I don't trust this. Okay, let's not do that. Besides, I never needed that sort of uh, junk removal trick for uh, my journeyman playthrough, so... I sort of already know what items are kind of junky. Okay, back to the Lonely Keep. And my favorite musical track. Long ago, huh? Uh, might as well take this as sponsor here. Release the hounds. Look about before scooping it up and place it carefully in your satch. Alright. Uh, oh, remember a long time ago we wanted to see if we could get a snowball? Now we don't have the ability to take recipes anymore, no. Yeah. Alright, so that won't be needed, I assume. You hug the weathered wall occasionally sleeping as you climb the stone steps. Huge calm of wind spins violently. So you lift you up your feet. Now, when we use the silver, let's just do this again. It almost works, but then he resists. First, the winds seem to flow. Much too large. I see. So even becoming 
and initiate isn't going to change that uh, response message. So let's try using the flute. But Unthelum's flute had three holes, and this one has one hole. So let's take our wood carving knife and add some holes. Expertly carving additional hole. Okay, let's not try doing this anymore and use the flute. I'm hoping you won't notice that it's a different flute. <laughs> Running and calmed by the area. Yes, the rolling quickly shrinks to mat to a much smaller size. Triumphantly, because this must be an air elemental. Awesome. We get a more, we get a bigger vista here too. Jagged peaks. Would this calm the storm? Do you think? It's sort of like blowing, cheering thunderstorm. Maybe not. Wait, what is it? The wisp-like creature spins and turns. It is as insubstantial as air. It's not in comparison to a ghost, is it? Alright, let's get our silver orb. Use the air elemental. Okay. Now... Uh, let's see. So... <laughs> I think since we're going to do this puzzle next, I might as well uh, talk about what I remember. Uh, what is a good place to use an air elemental? Well, we had this bridge that was too rickety to cross. Couldn't support our weight. So maybe we could use the air elemental to... Actually, let's, let's go there now. Let me just uh, save. So let's go to the bridge and see if this air elemental will re reduce our weight. So that was here. We also have this grotto. <sighs> We've tried the flashbang and the earthquake spell. I noticed the flashbang did give the same message that uh, like you were distracted by furtive movement. So every spell is potentially going to give us that message. Alright, we won't mess with you now. And there's another torch here. Gear up and get everything you need to end this thing. Yeah, so he's... <laughs> he's giving us a little clue here. Together. So let's try this. We did make a save. Oh, we haven't... Is there an empty space in my inventory? What's going on here? Oh, this is the metal bar. <laughs> that was part of the bridge. Right, let's slight breeze emanating from the silver. Ooh. That'd be a cool object to have, don't you think? Safely inside. Are you friendly? Whoa, eat the silver orb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not... That would make us lighter, maybe? <laughs> Helium elemental. <laughs> so let's, let's try saving do this. <laughs> okay. I wonder if they have the E tier as sort of a clue, you know, sort of along the lines I described. Can we polish our shirt with it? No? Okay, use it. Hiss in a puff, the air elemental escapes the orb. Aha! Lifts you off the ground as if you weigh nothing. Oh, so it lifted me off the ground. Is that like a second solution? What happens if you just use it on the bridge? That is what I remember from my first playthrough. Use it on the bridge this time. It lights the lights up the bridge. Up there. Huh. All right, so let's. <laughs> I want to do it the new way, actually. Maybe we can use the air elemental other places. I never thought about that. Okay, so it's going to lift me off the ground, even though it's going to change our description. It's our description for the... Oh. Mm, so maybe it really... Moment. 
Right, so it's not clear what's actually lifting us off the ground or the... Let's go. Playfully lifts you into the air as you bound across the Reedy Bridge. Oh, that's nice. Chiseled from the rock. This claustrophobic chamber has all the earmarks of crude dwarven craftsmanship. In the center, a large stone tablet stands, 12 slots carved into its face. So we've seen these slots before. Are these chains at all? That's some type of metal. No, sir, that's paper. Links are still quite secure. Can we pull the chain? I'm not pulling your chain, am I, York? Okay. The thing is, we don't have much of a clue what to do with these. I feel like there's some sort of pattern. Maybe? <laughs> I was kind of hoping there would be an obelisk here and Lackmere would give us uh, some advice or some cool new items to... Alright, so I think the best thing to do right now is collect all the runes and come back here. Ah, but first we need to experiment with this wind elemental and how we're going to get back across the bridge. As you leave the chamber, the air elemental reappears. Good. Quickly lifts across. Uh, stand the edge. The remnants of an air elemental. Can we just can we just take them back and recycle them over and over again? Use the silver orb. Really? There's no hot spot I can click on here. Huh. So he's gonna. Is he going to stay there? No. Alright, so we can't... So we have to pick them up every time we want to use them. Okay. Okay, so I'm on my way back with the runes. And I was thinking it's worth trying our other vessels on the Jin, Just for completeness sake. Because our other vessels have holes in them. And, you know, passing through an object is... Like, ghosts pass through things, so water would pass through a vial, so I'm gonna guess. Let's say before I try this. <laughs> pass through me like a broken vial! Chosen poorly. Alright, well, didn't really think that would work, but I think for completeness, let's also try the bucket. Reload, please. Okay, bucket with a hole in it. What can you add to a ghost that makes it lighter? Whoa! <laughs> An approving nod. I do not approve. <laughs> Perhaps mortal. Perhaps. What was wrong with the broken vial? Or even the regular glass bottle? Comparison to a ghost? Am I? Is there something... Like a different meaning for ghost or bucket, some connection there. Okay, maybe we'll figure that out <laughs> later. <laughs> we still haven't solved the riddle. <laughs> Just as widely once again, and a swirling ball of light. Five torches. That's not so great, but this may be an answer. What? The oh, maybe an answer to an ever darkening path. Okay. Give me another riddle, riddle master. This time the creature seems genuinely pleased, alright? I have some hope for you, mortal. Try this final riddle, ooh, final exam, and bring to me the answer. What force and strength cannot get through, I with gentle touch can do. Force and strength cannot get through. Get through, he doesn't mean defeat or... Uh, Pull apart, or I with gentle touch can do. Gentle, gentle, no. This is a gentle weapon of some sort, but okay. Nothing really gentle here. I mean, this is pretty 
it's going to accomplish a lot, and it's it's not really gentle. No. The flute? No. What have we, like, needed force and strength for? But uh, the solution was something else. I would think this, which removes the seals. Right? You can't you can't pry the seals out with your spear or anything, or the hammer. Or like moving the rock versus hammering it. I with gentle touch can do. What objects would be touching other objects? Makes me think of like a pen for some reason, or like a feather. The soft mallet, no? No, it's not. Hmm. But force and strength cannot do. I with gentle thought. So maybe we don't have the item. That's also another possibility to think about. There's nothing really gentle about that spell. I... It's a point of pride. I, I want to, like, feel good about my first guess, right? So let's put this on the back burner for now. Um, he's still going to not let me go up the stairs, right? This will... This will send me back to... Yes, because <laughs> this is where I'm going. And... Uh... What was the, it was torches, okay. Kind of strange to get so many torches. Let's test something with the air elemental before we use it up again. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, let's test the air elemental here. I also just want to test... Uh, does it actually levitate you? Or is that something special to that one room? So can we just go into any room and start levitating? Momentarily let's go to the ground as if you weigh nothing. Can I not fly up here? Goblin says no. <laughs> I mean, what about like this mist? Can we remove the mist with the air elemental? Okay, use the silver orb. Take the wind out of your sails. No. Okay. I think he got he caught wind of my plan there. I do have other ideas for that wind elemental though. Uh, use it on the bridge, please. Okay. I'm guessing though that like the wind elemental is not a levitation uh, ability. It has to be more uh, like a more bespoke places to use it. Okay. So I. Do you remember uh, one clue we have for here? We'll try to figure this out, though, in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care, stay safe, and bye for now.